Hey guys, it's Seth from Addicted to Social Media. I wanted to quickly talk about the new list feature on Twitter. Um, essentially what it does is it allows you to create lists of Twitter people, people on Twitter that you want to follow exclusively. You know, you want to go to their list, see what they're doing, and kind of cuts through the clutter, especially for people who have mo you know, more than a thousand followers. Um, it's a really neat way to also share who you're following and make your list public as well, which will enable it so that other people can follow interesting people. So it's kind of an endorsement in a way. So when you go to Twitter.com, go to Twitter.com, and go, you'll see this new list, great new way to organize people you follow and discover new, new and interesting accounts. So it's a beta. So it's still, you know, going to be knowing Twitter, it's still going to be a little bit of a, you know, hit and miss, hit or miss here. But anyhow, um, you go to create new list. And then you can type in your list name. If it's multiple, if it's multiple um, words, it's going to you know be hyphens in between each one. But if you want to make it public, it's going to be Twitter.com/slash your username slash your list name. I always, I'm made two so far. Must follow a must follow account and fully people account on here as well. And I'm playing with that. So you create the list, and then what you do is you go to your following folder. Um, so who you're following, and when you go in here. You'll see this new th area where you click down. And you can hit fellow people or must follow your list. Or if you want to make a new list while you're in there, it's really handy to, to categorize categorize people without having to go out again. It's really handy. Um, I haven't really discovered the usefulness of it necessarily, other than sharing, you know, what you need, you know, who you follow. Um, one thing that might be handy is sharing, you know, kind of an endorsement. Of people who you follow, saying these are people in Philly that you might want to follow. These are people who I love, and you must, you should follow them because it's a, you know, I they're, they're my endorsement. So that's a good thing to try out. Um, I mean, the search functionality it would be nice if they had like a search, search bar. So if you knew the person's name, you have to scroll through the follow follower list. You would actually be able to just, you know, search for the person's name and add them to a list. But it's still a beta. I'm sure it's still going to work on it a little bit more. But I want to do a quick, um, a quick screencast to kind of highlight it, um, the feature and whatnot. So let's say I want to add someone to a list. I've already done this page. But if you go to the next page, you go here, you click on on the list, and you click Must Follow. And then if you don't, if you want to take them off, you can take them off again. And it gives you a little list down there. It gives you a little bit of a um, the list that it's part of. So Seth Goldstein at Seth Goldstein slash must follows. So hope this is informative and all that. And um, check out Addicted to Social Media. Um, our podcasts come out weekly. So make sure you check back about that as well. We'll be talking about this a little bit more in depth on our t today's show. So that should come out in a few days. Um, and check out my list. Um, look forward to t touching base with you. Check me out on Twitter at twitter.com slash Seth Goldstein. Also, my blogs, I'm addicted to socialmedia.com, um, goldsteinmedia.com slash blog, and I have a new one, webdesigninphiladelphia.com, which is a little bit highlighting my experiences of web design in Philadelphia. So check out the blogs, um, and I hope to connect with you real soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.